In this video, I want to show you how to replace drums in Studio One using Gate and Impact. For this tutorial, I have created a short song out of this loop, which is live recorded drums. They sound very good and they sound like this. Good sound, but let's assume you don't like the sound of the snare. For whatever reason, you don't like the sound of the snare and want to replace it with this sound. So that's the sound of a snare you like better. How to do it? First, we have to drop impact and create a new track with impact. Now we have to load the sound we like to one of 16 pads. We'll send it to mono one output so we have it in the mixing console. So this pad now is our favorite sound. Let's send it to the drum bass and change the color. So now we have impact set. Next we have to trigger the impact from the snare channel. The easiest way is to drop a gate on this channel and set it so only when the drum is hit, gate will open. Now we have to set the open threshold so the gate only reacts to the snare drum. Now gate opens only when the snare drum is hit and we have to activate also the trigger part of the gate. Every time when gate opens, it generates the tone set here in this small window. We will use this tone to trigger the impact. So this pad now we have to set to C3. And next is to link impact with the gate. Basically to inform the impact that it should expect trigger signal from the gate. This we will do in this pop-up menu. Now the instrument is linked to the plugin and every time the plugin sends the signal it will play the tone. We have set the impact to send the signal to mono one channel. Now we can manipulate with faders and get the right mix of these two signals. It's a question of your preferences and taste. You can mix these two together. Let's hear where we started with the original snare drum and fully replaced one. And that's the way how to replace drums in Studio One using gate and impact. Easy, right? 